I heard from mothers about the challenges facing their families. And the one that surprised me was climate change. I think in the United States often we're very insulated from the impacts that we're having on the planet and on our global neighbors and so it's really valuable for us to be able to come over here and actually meet people and hear how climate change is affecting their very lifestyles and livelihoods. Climate change has brought quite a lot of suffering among the poor because Malawi now is experiencing more droughts, more floods. More diseases come now, like uh, an increase in malaria. In some places where malaria was not a big problem, now we see that uh, malaria is becoming a problem. Things were already bad without climate change. They were already struggling. Now that climate change is here, it has pushed people right on the very margins. Climate has indeed changed in this village. I remember in terms of access to water that when I was growing up, there's a river behind the trees there which used to flow throughout the year and we could go there as kids and pray in the water. But currently when you go there, the river is dry, you only get sand. I'm very worried for the children. HIV and AIDS in Malawi affected about a million people, a million orphans. But climate change is affecting a lot more, almost every Malawian. Almost 14 million people is affected by climate change. The church in Malawi has started responding like it did with HIV AIDS, engaging with the traditional leaders, the church leaders at community level to equip them with information about climate change. I've really been struck by how interconnected the problem is, how things that happen in the United States and around the world affect even local farmers here in Malawi. And as I go back home to the Western world, it certainly will impact the way in which I live, the choices I make, the energy consumption that I have in my household. The message is very simple, that we should join hands when it comes to adaptation and mitigation on climate change. I feel as though what I'm taking home with me are these living, breathing examples of the impact that my choices have and really a call to live faithfully, to be very thoughtful in terms of discipleship and the ways that I live and consume and provide for the people that I love. We're here at the front lines of climate disruption and we have a lot that we can learn from the church in Malawi, especially as climate change begins to more and more affect the church in America. What can we learn from the church in Malawi in terms of how we help our communities respond and adapt and then how can we work together internationally between different churches in different countries to lift up this issue.